we all know that if you work all night, you have to catch up and sleep longer the next. In other words, our sleep duration is homeostatically regulated. However, despite a lot of research on this topic, we still know very little about the fundamental reasons we need to sleep and the mechanism that regulate how long we sleep. Our research group developed a computational model of sleep based on which we predicted that sleep duration is regulated by calcium ion and identified multiple genes that were potentially involved. We then tested our predictions against 21 different genetically engineered mice types to reveal that mechanism regulated by calcium ion is indeed responsible for controlling sleep duration. Computational and numerical models take a huge amount of computer processing power, usually requiring a supercomputer. And it can also take a long time to process all that information. We developed an average neural model, in which we simplified the previous neural network models into an average neuron and significantly reduced complexity. This also greatly reduced the processing time. Using the average neural model, we predicted which currents or IO flows within a neuron are critical for maintaining the type of neural activity associated with slow wave sleep, the phase of deep sleep which we were investigating. Our computational model predicted that a calcium ion dependent hyperpolarization pathway played an important role in the transition between being asleep and awake. Effectively, this means that an inflow of calcium ions into the neuron triggers a protein that pumps potassium ions out, causing the neuron to become strongly polarized, the state seen in slow wave sleep. The model gave us four predictions, which became the starting points in our search for the critical genes involved in sleep. We devised experiments to test each of these predictions in turn. We created knockout mice using triple CRISPR method. This method was developed in our lab, uh, which was based on the CRISPR method, which can knock out genes from animals. Instead of taking ears to make a knockout strain, using this triple CRISPR method, now we can make such kind of mice in weeks. First, we tested the effect of knocking out the calcium-dependent potassium channel and the voltage-gated calcium channel both of which we predicted would result in reduced sleep duration. Just as predicted, these mice showed a significant decrease in sleep duration in comparison to mice that had not been genetically engineered. Also as predicted, calcium pump knockout mice showed a significant increase in sleep duration. We also examined two other genes that we thought might have an important role to play in sleep regulation. These knockouts showed a particularly dramatic decrease in sleep duration, which suggests that these proteins could play a role as a switch between sleep and awake states. We also looked at a lot of NMDA receptor, a common type of receptor found through brain, and which let calcium into neurons. NMDA receptor are usually excitatory, contributing to increased neuronal activity so it was thought that NMDA receptor would contribute to reduce sleep duration. So inhibiting them should result in more sleep. Surprisingly, we found the reverse. Inhibiting NMDA receptor directly excite neuron and contribute to reduce sleep. Furthermore, we confirmed increase in neuronal excitation by whole brain imaging. Using ArcD as mice, which had been genetically engineered, so their neuron 
fluorescence with a green color when activated. We showed mice treated with an NMD inhibitor demonstrated increased neuronal activity in the cortex. In this study, we successfully created several types of genetically engineered mice showing sleep disorders by knocking out single genes related to the calcium ion dependent hyperpolarization pathway. This demonstrated that calcium is an important trigger regulated sleep duration. These genetically engineered mice created for this research will advance the field of not only sleep disorders, but potentially also those of mental disorders and neurodegenerative diseases.